Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So, I just want to give you an update right on Amazon. Okay, so Amazon wants to be the top notch. Amazon is looking to crush the competition. So, here's the thing. So, this is good and, you know, this is also going to be bad, all right? Um, Amazon, okay, basically, when I first started, when uh, about a year ago, well, a little bit over 13 months ago, Amazon allowed you to get on and, uh, you know, try them out for 30 days. And in 30 days, right, you were able to now pay your fee, which is $39.99 a month. Now, if you want to sell a, set up a pro account, uh, you know, with Amazon, guys, you have to pay the $39.99 up front. Now, what Amazon said, basically, is that they are getting rid of the tire kickers. So, that simply means if you are not serious about your business, uh, you know, then, you know, you would be deterred away from paying the upfront fee. Now, I kind of disagree with that because it really... Because really, if you're serious, you're serious. The 30-day trial is not going, 30-day free trial wasn't going to deter you anyway, uh, you know, opposed to paying $39.99 up front. If you're serious, you're serious. So, but they took that away and they got rid of it. So now you just got to pay $39.99 a month up front for the pro account. Now they have an individual seller's account that's free. But you're limited to only 40 items to earn to, to, to selling 40 items a month. Plus, you cannot get into the buy box. Plus, they charge you 99 cents on top of the fees for every sale that you make. Here's the thing with Amazon: they already charge 15%. Okay. Amazon guys already charges 15% on every sale. So if you have an individual sales account, now you're getting charged 15% on top of, okay, 99 cents. So I'll just say go with the $39.99 a month. Hopefully Amazon doesn't raise the price from $40 to $60 a month. Here's the only thing I don't like about Amazon, guys, is that they're like the government, right? They do what they want when they want. They really don't answer to nobody because they're so big. So they're too big to control. So they do basically what they want to do. Okay. But end all be all guys, Amazon is a great opportunity for you to come on and make at least a thousand dollars a month. That's easy to do and get started and start understanding, uh, you know, how you can build your own, uh, you know, e-commerce store. Okay. So let's keep going let's keep going so number two they op opened up in australia they wasn't in australia uh you know too much now they have opened it up to us in the u.s now if you're in the u.s i suggest that you continue to stay uh you know within the u.s because you uh, amazon.com is the biggest largest e-commerce site not amazon.com.au it's not okay it can get but amazon.com which is in the u.s is the biggest okay here's the thing also too guys amazon is really uh you know favoring okay favoring uh you know more fba sellers where you have to have a certain amount so maybe five thousand ten thousand fifteen thousand dollars worth of items and product to be able to ship to their fulfillment center now why are they uh um why are they um, favoring FBA sellers? Because Amazon now can control all the inventory. Now I'm hearing for FBA sellers, the stocking fee, because when you send your stuff in, you literally have to pay to have your stuff in the warehouse until it sells. So the stocking fees are going up. So that's kind of good and kind of bad depending on your margins. So I used to tell people 10% or more is good um, as a profit margin, but now with these changes that Amazon has, 30% is a good profit margin 
uh, you know, on your products that you're selling. So if you're doing FBA, you're going to be charged more for, um, for, for your stocking, uh, you know, fee and their favorite FBA sellers more. So people that are drop shipping, um, you better be on point. Your metrics has to be on point. If you plan on building Amazon, um, you know, out for a year, two years, three years, you know, four years, your metrics better be on point. If you will be doing drop shipping, like I said, they want to do FBA more because they can control the inventory and Amazon don't have to worry about people canceling orders because they don't have the inventory because of third party sellers like drop shippers. Okay. So another thing, um, the third thing that Amazon did, uh, you know, basically they didn't restrict new sellers over Christmas, but it kind of, um, it was like a catch 22 because it was kind of like, okay, they're not going to restrict sellers from getting involved with Amazon and sending items in, but then you had this enormous fee as a new seller. So it kind of deterred, you know, some people, but some people still, uh, you know, definitely, um, you know, got involved. And like I said, you know, the change, Amazon increased the fourth quarter storage fees again. See, like I said, again, simply means Amazon did it before and they're going to do it again. And they're going to keep doing, they're going to keep doing it. And like I said, the Amazon's like the government. Okay. They're favoring their customer and they want to have top notch customer service. They want to be a top e-commerce. They, they're getting rid of Walmart and Target and Sears and malls and people are coming on Amazon. There's over 400 million customers by next year. This time it's going to be over 500 million customers and it's only 1 million sellers. And I'm hearing from masterminds that I'm in that Amazon will eventually stop allowing people to sell on Amazon. So, you know, if you have not started your Amazon store yet, you need to get yourself involved now. Okay. So it says, um, change number four, Amazon increased fourth quarter storage fees to help manage inventory over the fourth quarter. When, <clears throat> when the Amazon FBA warehouse get overload, Amazon can choose to once again, increase storage fees. Okay. On the flip side, they reduce fees per sale to encourage you to make as many sales as you can. But Amazon already charges 15% for everything that you sell. If you're doing FBA, now they're charging you a storage fee plus 15%. So it's just a lot and Amazon brings in 1.4 million a second. It's just crazy. Now this is a game changer right here, guys, what, which is the automatic refund for third party sellers. So basically if you have an item in your store and you know, someone wants to refund, they don't even need to contact you anymore. They can just push a button in the, in their back office and literally they can get a refund without any explanation. Like that's just crazy. Right? So, you know, I have shown my students how to get over, you know, over that hurdle because that's bad, right? Because some people, here's how it works. There are some people guys that literally will order shit and then do a refund just to get stuff for free. Don't make sense, right? For the seller, that's bad for business because you're losing money, but for the buyer, they don't care. But Amazon, is favoring the buyers. It's like no room for error with the sellers at this point. So some people are getting discovered. Some people are not, but the automatic refunds guys, I'm telling you that is going to be a disaster. And that increased refunds that increased people wanting to return. It's terrible guys. I'm telling you that is just, I'm telling you guys, that is just too, too, too crazy. Okay. But like I said, I've shown my students, my advanced training students, how to get over that hurdle of someone just doing a refund and you have to give the refund, uh, you know, to them. It says in the past, Amazon has allowed third party sellers to require buy a contact them first before getting a refund. It meant that oftentimes third party sellers could provide customer with customer support and save the sale. Now Amazon has implemented a new policy that means customers from third party sellers have the exact same refund policy as if you were buying straight from Amazon FBA sellers. This means that you can print off the return address and get a refund immediately. This has increased the refunds of the third party sellers that the third party sellers are getting. And that is bad. Okay. That is bad. Now it says to help minimize refunds add an email marketing campaign. 
is sent out after the sale encouraging a buyer to contact you but here's the thing guys some people are just mean some people are just nasty they they don't even care they order something they order a table a big old table for their house and then say oh it was broken up the chair was broke oh this and they're sending right to amazon and they can get a refund plus keep the item gotta remember guys amazon have over four hundred million items and they have inventory so one item they don't even care about two items they don't even care about three items they don't even care about four items they wouldn't even care about guys so this is why when i train people on how to start selling on amazon i tell them go to the advanced level so you can know all of this stuff with amazon because if not then you're going to be stuck in limbo trying to figure out all this stuff by yourself looking on youtube trying to ask questions and you're just going to be running around like a chicken with your head cut off and it doesn't make sense okay so and this is the last one the last change that i know of right is no more price refund so say if someone buys something from your store for 50 dollars and you lower the price within a week or so or you having a sale or whatever and you lower it down to $30. The customer cannot now go to your store and do a price adjustment and say, oh, give me my $20 back. All right, give me $20 back because I bought it for 50, now you have it for 30. They cannot do it. It says, in the past, Amazon allowed customers to claim refund on the difference of the price if it had changed within 30 days. Amazon has changed it so that customers had the seven days to claim the refund. Now they have removed it altogether. This is great for new sellers. So even if you have an item in your store for $50, right? Make sure you don't change it, okay? Make sure you don't change it within the next seven days. And that clears that, you know, right out of it, right? So what can we expect, right? What can we expect um, from Amazon? Like I said, guys, they are favoring FBA sellers more. Um, they're not getting rid of third-party sellers because there are a lot of people on Amazon that do drop shipping. Like I said, as long as your metrics is right, your seller's performance is good, that you are under the radar where Amazon don't have to look at you, where Amazon don't have to keep, you know, saying, you know, or, or sending you emails or you getting, uh, you know, bad reviews from your customers and customers sending, you know, Amazon um, A to Z claims and stuff like that. As long as you stay under the radar, you could drop ship to death. But once you start getting on the radar of Amazon and Amazon got to handle your customers for you and all that stuff, they do not want to be involved with you. Okay, guys, so those are some of the changes with Amazon. So for new sellers, here's it is, guys. It's time to get started because Amazon will continue to make changes like the government does all the time. They will continue to make all these drastic changes and we have to conform right but the ones who are already involved with amazon have a little leeway and have an upper hand because we already been on it so the new people now may struggle a little bit differently if you don't have the right knowledge if you don't have the right uh, uh you know education on what you need to do as far as refunds and returns and dealing with customers and merchant bullies and things of that nature guys so but all in all amazon brings a 1.4 million a second Amazon is a very, very lucrative business. Everybody and their mother shops on Amazon on a daily and consistent basis, guys. If you shop, shop on Amazon, guys, you need to learn how to sell on Amazon. This is something that you can teach you, your grandmother, your kids, your great grandkids, your nieces, your aunts, your nephews, guys. Remember, work from home businesses are becoming more popular. 401ks are dying, pensions are dying, social security is dying. People are looking for ways to make money from the comfort of their home and become their own boss. And I think Amazon is the right way. So if you haven't got started, uh, you know, yet, oh, that was quick. If you haven't got started yet on Amazon, guys, go to createmyowneconomy.com, watch my free webinar. I break down literally how I'm showing people how to, you know, make money on Amazon and be able to create their own economy from the comfort of their home, guys. See you soon.